Day two of our season 15, we'll kick off then with a Christine Maiden Hurdle. Just three runners in this. Zara Zeus at the top for Padraig Hogan. Extreme Consequences for Leon Van Rensburg and Olive Oil for Matt Cooper. Now just three of them then in this. And away they go. And Extreme Consequence is the first one to show. With olive oil second and Zara Zeus in third. And they're pretty much in a line at the moment. Uh, they've got an awful long way to go and 14 flights to get over. And there's only three of them. And I think there are about three other three more maiden hurdles this week as well. So I'm sure there's been a little bit of a error there. And they're working out one of those. Should be a chase, I would guess. But anyway, over the first they go. Olive oil in the lead. Leads by about three lengths to Zara Zeus in second. And Extreme Consequences is in third. Skip over to second. It's going to be a difficult job for the handicapper as well. This season with these small fields because I mean, how, how would you how would you rate this really? I mean you wouldn't know would you especially if Leon's horse was the four, then what rating would you give the other two really? I mean all right, Patrick Hogan is uh that's quite a lot of winners, but Matt Cooper's only in his second season, I think, so it would be a little bit unfortunate for him to get landed with a whopping great handicap mark, but what do you what would you do? How would you gauge it? I think if you looking at it on the form of the trainers got years gone by you would be expecting Leon's horse to win this pretty comfortably although Patrick Hogan's could well give it something to think about you would expect really Matt Cooper's horse to finish third so it's being disrespectful to him it's just the way that it is isn't it Leon's been up there at the top of the game for a long time and Padraig was up there at the top apparently years ago before I got involved um, and he's on the comeback trail in the last couple of seasons and he's um, rapidly closing on the top four or five in the last few seasons and almost certainly break into it this year most likely at the exception of me who's currently in fifth but a long way adrift of the top four for the last couple of seasons and it's Olive Oil that's in the lead Skipping over that nicely, already up to the halfway point. And to be honest, as the season progresses, if we get a lot of these two and three run races, it probably won't get commentated on because they do take, as I was saying in conversation with Alex the other day, a three mile race with 20 runners in it doesn't take any longer to commentate on than a three runner race with three in it. And sometimes you can struggle for things to say that are of any importance, especially in a race like this one where they're pretty well strung out at the minute, nothing much is happening, and you sort of know in the back of your head what you expect to happen at the end. But unfortunately, Stu's unable to commentate at the moment. Hopefully, we'll be back later on in the season, and then won't be so much of a problem if I'm already to do all 39 of the jump races on. Probably going to be looking at some of these two or three or four runner races and missing them out, unfortunately. Just to give you the heads up, maybe we could look at amalgamating some races. Although that may be unfair for the people that were going to get a winner, I suppose. But it's olive oil in front. Oh, Zara Zeus in second and Extreme Consequences in third as they get over the ninth. Managed to waffle my way through two miles, only got a mile left to go. And Olive Oil in the lead. Hopefully the rest of the day's racing will get a little bit more exciting, although it looks like it's starting to heat up into a bit of a battle now. And Olive Oil leading by about a length and a half. And extreme consequences. It looks to be going ominously well in second. I jumped that one really well, and as in fact now jumped alongside the leader.
Look at all these, all these fighting back. I haven't looked through his stable, to be honest, but I seem to remember commentating on a horse called Basil Brush for Matt Cooper. So I don't know if he's got Popeye as well, but maybe. He's in the lead. Um, extreme quality. Well, what Basil Brush has got to do with that, I don't know, but it's just cartoons and kids programs isn't it anyway extreme consequences has gone off into the lead in there with just over three furlongs to go only all is in second Zara Zeus is a distant third at this point as they skip over the third last and extreme consequences is looking like a penalty kick for Leon Van Rensburg as they skip over the second last Joshua Southern will be tearing his hair out if he's watching this as his championship rival really scores a very easy win. I think maybe this season it's going to be all about where you place your horses, where you can get your wins, because if you're crafty, you can find some pretty easy targets, I think. And Extreme Consequences has won this one very well indeed, very easily indeed. With Zara Zoo second and Olive all third. I think you'd have predicted where they were going to finish. That's probably where most people would have said. And how on earth you handicap that? Goodness, how he does. And anyway, Extreme Consequences is the winner for Leon Van Rensburg, Zara Zeus second for Padraig Hogan and Ogley Royal for Matt Cooper back in third.